So we do get uh, our revolver completely refilled immediately in this chapter, but um, after everything that we lost, it's not uh, not that great, in all honesty. Which is why I was trying to use it up. I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. So it really seems like you should shoot the chain, but uh, the only way you can actually break that is if you if you shoot the wood. All right, let's try and move ourselves away from this big guy. Ooh, watch it. Oh, he does not like that I did that to him. I'm gonna go over here and hopefully give him a bad day. Nice. Alright, um, this next part coming up, I always seem to have trouble with. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it seems like this area always gives me a lot of issues. And it is something that I dread coming up against every single time I play through this game. So we will see just how badly I get screwed over here. Hopefully not so much. Hopefully I'll uh, actually manage to make it through without dying. But a lot of the time I end up uh, dead here. I've got a radio here, but I'm not going to touch that just yet. Because we've got bigger fish to fry. Much, much, much bigger fish to fry. Just go ahead and toss that down. So that we have a little bit of cover, because there was definitely guys working their way up to us. No! Get off me, little bastard. Dang it! I am definitely going to use whatever means I can to make sure that I do not die here. Damn it! Crap! Forgot to reload. My bad. This is not good. I am so screwed right now. Might hit someone, I don't know. Holy crap, this is not good at all. Oh boy. Yeah, this section is a little bit difficult. I am not gonna make it. There is no way right now. Especially not with both of these guys alive right now. Holy crap. You know what? Forget it. Make a run for it. If we can get into this light, I think we should be fine. Jesus Christ. I always have so much trouble with this little section here. It's a pain in the ass. I'd like my shotgun, please. I don't know if that shot uh, will count against him, considering that he kind of disappeared. 
Oh, I count it. That's cool. Alright. Somehow I managed to make it through that without dying. But as you can see, I always have a lot of trouble with this area here. Even though there's these canisters around, I never seem to uh, get to properly use them during that battle. I just get too caught up in trying to kill these guys and then it ends up going real bad for me. <laughs> At the very least, those flares came in handy. But I do not have any flares left anymore, which is not a good thing considering that uh, there's more dangerous stuff up ahead. We'll check this out. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. So the joke with this uh, Poets of the Fall thing is Poets of the Fall is the real band that does the songs for um, the old gods. So technically there's no such thing as the old gods band. However, Poets of the Fall is a real band. So I find that kind of amusing that they put that joke in there. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close. But I had to find a way across. I'm sure we'll find a way across, but before that, I want to find some more gear, because honestly, we pretty much used up what we had. Sweet, flashbang. Don't want to use that flashbang just now, since I'm sure that will come in handy for later. No, thank you. Just, just stay back, and uh, we'll be okay here. All right. Feeling a little bit more safe. Not completely safe, but uh, more safe. And slightly more safety is always better. <sighs> Thank you for random stuff that I need. So this light can come in uh, pretty handy because you can go back to it and uh, use it over and over again. However, it will go out after a very short while and you will need to flip that switch. You can actually get um, the shadow guys to go straight into this light and flip the switch on them, which is kind of amusing. We'll see if we can't do that to some people, like these guys. And, nope, I did it too early. I just scared them off. Oh, it looks like one of them actually backed up into some electricity because he was freaking out. Got a little closer and... Oh man, I didn't get it. There we go. Let's see if this guy... Nope. I didn't mean to go into that light. I was going to see if that guy was going to back up into the electricity like his friend did. Come on, buddy. You know you want to come over here. Nice piece of Allen bacon. Come get it. Oh, you're the bacon. Not me. Poor bacon head. Watch it. Whoops.
The more we can make use of this, the better. Because then we don't have to use any of our, um, our ammo, and we get checkpoints every single time that we walk through that, since it's considered a brand new checkpoint each time that you turn it on, which is kind of cool. Makes this section a little bit uh, less tedious. Cynthia on her way to the dam. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the rider. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Isn't that strange how when you get to the very end of something that you've been working on, you just feel like you don't want to do it anymore? You want it to be over? That seems to happen to me, or at least it used to uh, when I was in college. I'd get to, like, you know, the last few pages of a term paper that I had to get done, and I didn't really feel like doing it anymore. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And we're talking about like 20 to 30 pages worth that I've already written and then I just don't feel like doing it anymore. It's ridiculous. I don't know why that is exactly. Just some kind of human trait. Hey guys, how you doing? You like flares? I like flares. You just gonna stand there? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that on you then. I'm gonna go over here. Please don't do that. I think I'll go ahead and use a shotgun on this guy. Sadly, the pump action shotgun is not quite as powerful as um, the shotgun that only has the double barrel. Which is strange, considering they both use the same shot. Now, I'm not big into guns, so I couldn't tell you why a pump-action shotgun versus a double barrel would have a different amount of damage, other than game logic. Perhaps there's actually a reason for that, but I don't know what it is. Maybe some uh, gun nut out there could explain it to us. That'd be nice. Look at that place. It looks super bright. Can't wait to be over there. Probably be nice and safe. I think I found some bleach. I think there's anything else around here to find, so let's go ahead and get up here. Now technically you should be able to jump onto this thing from uh, on top of here. However, there's an invisible wall there and you are completely unable to jump there if you try. And believe me, I have tried it because I've always wondered if there was something special on that side of the fence, but there's not. Not as far as I can tell. Let's check out what's in the manuscript. Wake's plan. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story. But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Well, hopefully Wake gets his uh, dream coming true here, and we do get to save Alice. That would be nice. Hey, birdies. Don't you be attacking me now. Lieutenant William T.G. Randall Memorial Bridge. This bridge has been designated as a memorial in honor and recognition of Lieutenant William T.G. Randall, 1919-1981, a World War II POW. 
and recipient of the Distinguished Service Cross. He died of injuries received during his successful rescue of two children from a burning car crashed at this location. He sounds a like a serious hero. A way to turn the bridge. And of course, Alan does not give a shit whatsoever that there was a serious hero here. He's just like, I'm a hero. I shoot shadow people. That makes me a hero, right? No, Alan. Not really. You're cool, but not quite as cool as that guy. That guy was pretty awesome. Grab ourselves a nice thermos here. And head on into here. Hello. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, your shift is over and it's my turn. Yay, flare gun! We will certainly save that flare gun for later. Don't want to use that just now. But we do get a nice amount of flare ammo for it. Oh, this looks fun. Is there anything else in here before I go? No, I don't think so. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh oh. It seems to be moving a bit faster now. So, one option is to run straight across, but this thing, for whatever reason, continuously turns. So you can just stay on one side and you'll eventually be on the other side of the bridge here. Well, the other side of this river anyway, not the other side of the bridge. I don't think there's anything on this bridge to pick up, so there's no real reason to, uh, to switch sides. All you gotta do is make sure the birds don't get you, and then you're fine once you get to the other side. I'm surprised they were able to uh, stay alive with that flock. I mean, considering earlier when we watched a helicopter go down from some birds, it seems like it's uh, pretty dangerous. We'll use this uh, shotgun for a while, I think. Man, that thing is uh, a very dangerous bridge. Just ignore it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. It would probably... 
probably turn into